Welcome back. It appears that we are uh, well over our planetary cap, so we're going to need to do something about that, sadly enough. Also, our economy is a little bit struggling as soon as we take our ships out of space dock, so we're going to need to take care of that as well. Uh, we just managed to integrate most of Thrill as well as some of the other stuff, and uh, we'll uh, add those to the new Varengar uh, sector anyway. So all of Bajor, uh, new Varengar, and all of those worlds... Uh, we'll add those to uh, those their sectors. So let's go and uh, fix this problem right in here. Okay, that's fixing this. There's Bajor. We'll add that. So a bunch of sectors here that we now have access to, which is great. Uh, we need to add this, and that allows us to be flexible enough to basically deal with anything. Uh, let's add Accordia as well. This one. It's just so we can encircle uh, Cadiz as well. Oh, this is nice. Uh, cool. So, yeah, no, that fixes that problem. So, uh, that entire area is now one large sector. Uh, it also means that we can finally, finally um, do a bunch of science stuff in here, as well as mineral stuff, because who doesn't like that? Uh, it also appears that we got a bunch of additional worlds that we can now colonize, which is, well, this is the class K. Or oh, class Y. Oh, hello there, class Q, I guess. Uh, we have the resources for it. Yes, we do. Let's see if we can send a couple of uh, aliens in there. Ooh, uh, okay, they don't like that very much. The Vulcans, at least. Uh, who likes this sort of shit? Uh, humans, the Bolians, of course. Bolians like everything. They, they can live anywhere. They're basically the rats of the Federation universe. Or the Star Trek universe in that case. Uh, yeah. Where? I need to find myself some Bolians. If not, I'll just slap a couple of humans on there. Here we go. There we go. So, Port Karsikov. Jesus Christ. That's the worst freaking name I've heard in a while. Port Karsikov. Let's name our... Um, let's name our new planet after a horrible, horrible disease that ravages people. Uh, new Ferenginar... Uh, Lapa. What's this world? Did I colonize this myself? Well, whatever it is, it is pretty messy on the ground here. So uh, we're going to need to add some some energy, etc. Well, we can put some gardens in there as well, but I'm not really keen on that. Power up. No, just the standard energy stuff would be nice. There we go. So that fixes that issue. Long -range scan of planet. Something tells me I did colonize this myself not entirely sure um free, fuck it we're just gonna add it to new Varenginar, and so we have room for more planets of our own all right it's a class m over here can't colonize because we don't have the influence at the moment sadly i could just destroy this for the additional influence all it's gonna do is is lower our uh the area that we control by a little bit so, but i don't expect to run into many problems there. In all honesty, we can just pr probably remove this one as well without running into many problems. Uh, the things we do, there we go, is probably going to lose a little bit of territory here. Yeah, but nothing that actually impacts uh, our situation at all. A colossal impact crater hints at something big collided with the surface of this moon once. Let's research it. Let's take a look. I haven't had any Star Trek related uh, anomalies in a while. It's a bit of a shame, because I do really, really enjoy those. Uh, oh, good lord. We are well over our fleet cap. Like, holy shit, we are over our fleet cap here. Uh, we're going to need to do something about that. And we're going to need to do something about that very quickly. Um, what can we do to fix this problem? Planets and sectors. I did not notice this at all. If anybody was yelling at the camera, or at least at the screen, be like... Oh my god, what are you doing? You're well over your fleet cap. Your economy is going to get crippled. Yes, I am aware that that is the case. Okay, uh, okay. plus three because of an asteroid collision. That's nice. All right, cool. These ones. Oh, good lord. Okay, so we can spend a decent amount of resources on upgrading a lot of this stuff. So that's nice. Okay. Oh, good lord. This one only has a spaceport level one. Let's take a look at the, the Noblians. They're almost integrated. We lost a scientician. 
That is a little bit annoying. But we do have the resources to basically build whatever the hell we want at the moment. So this is Tholian space. Okay. And this is also Tholian space. So we'll just uh, set those up. And uh, we can just add more spaceport modules. New alien species been discovered. I don't really care for it, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, this is more of like an emergency procedure at the moment to make sure that our economy doesn't completely cripple as soon as we take uh, the fleet out of space dock, because it will. The upkeep value is more than 316, I can tell you that one. Okay, okay, there we go. So I saw uh, Star Trek Beyond for the first time uh, a couple days ago. Uh, I was fairly amused. It was pretty fun. You know, a little bit too much use, once again, of the Beastie Boys' is hit Sabotage. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what the obs obsession there is, but uh, I did enjoy the lack of lens flares, so that was, that was kind of nice. Are we also paying for the upkeep of this over here? There's a good chance that it is the case. Yeah, this is our Alliance fleet, and we just added a bunch of uh, Corvettes to it, as well as a bunch of um, these destroyers. A bunch of patrol frigates. Are those, yeah, the refit Excelsiors as well. Not entirely sure what the hell is going on with those, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, anyway, that will give the uh, Alliance fleet a decent amount of power to work with. Uh, we're still building another battle cruiser for the coalition. That's great. Can we add something interesting? Mind control laser. Because why wouldn't you want a, a laser that does mind control? Uh, Metronium Forge. Yes. All right, what do we got? Hydroponics Farm Four. Biomolecular Cybernetics. Cool. Uh, an unusual inter. Oh, hopefully this is a Star Trek episode. Uh, a consulate edict duration. What is cheap? Uh, the central plaza is cheap. Yeah, let's hope we're going to get uh, a Star Trek episode out of this because we haven't seen one in a while and I kind of want to see one again. So, anyway, uh, we are integrated into the Nublians at the moment. So, there's that at least. Gerard. Picard. Gerard. Timba, his arms wide. Apparently, we can colonize a demon class. And it's got habitability for what? Tholian? Yeah, I thought as much. So Tholians can easily colonize these demon class worlds, which I find highly amusing. All right, here we go. Episode coming in, hopefully. Oh, shit. The, f the vessel first encountered at Yulip system has now entered the soul system. Really? Interesting. The probe appears to spring to life. A signal returned from this vessel of immense power. Initially, the system's, computer, system's computers are unable to translate the transmission until the team of biologists based in the Caribbean on Earth are able to identify the composition of the message in its bearing. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's come alongside the vessel. As the away team or team rematerialized, they discovered that they are among a number of stasis chambers with humans in the 21st century clothing asleep in them. An investigation of the chambers reveals the entire crew to be dead. The detected life signs, the result of background support processes, would have continued long after expiration of the human crew. They're all dead, Captain. Well, that's a shame. They're all dead. And here I was, looking forward to, like... Oh no! It's a, a fish out of water scenario. A person from the from the past. All right, let's go to spring. Oh, look! We can uh, get a lot of stuff going on here. That is nice. Let's upgrade all this stuff. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade this here planetary building just yet. I'm gonna leave that for something a little bit more valuable. Let's go through our. See what we have available here. Plus five. Okay, let's just remove let's upgrade these hydroponics plants and then remove one of them later i'm gonna upgrade vega to um the next tier uh, mainly because the influence uh is still a pretty big problem here 
Frontier Outpost, minus one from Edicts, minus 75. What kind of Edicts am I currently running? Don't tell me I never turned off the... Okay, Legal Aliens is active. Xenophobia, minus five. Outer Species Happiness of 2%. I guess it's positive. Okay, so this is fine now. This is fine. How are we doing food-wise here? Plus five. It's a, it's a paradise dome. It's a pretty cool building, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, how are we doing food-wise here? Plus one. So let's upgrade the hydroponics plants and be done with it. How are we doing here? Plus seven. We can replace this with something a bit more useful. Planetary shield generator. Power plant. Which is kind of useful. What kind of system is this? It's mostly power, isn't it? Yeah, I thought as much. Uh, do I have a... No, we don't have enough dilithium to do anything with this. So let's put another power plant on this planet and upgrade this one. That's a comma taken care of. Okay, how much are we doing food-wise? Plus 13. Holy shit. Yeah, we can replace most of this stuff. I'll put an industrial lab on there. Uh, no. Go, no, bad. Cancel. Thank you. And we'll replace this with... How are we doing mineral-wise here? What the hell is that? Transport hub. Hmm. Mineral-wise, it's not amazing. Let's put another energy plant in here. The gem, not really a problem. Cool. Alright, so our economy is finally looking good. The first fleet has now been upgraded. Ships upgraded. Station complete. Uh, apparently, we've got the first and the first fleet. One made in words and one made in non-words. Hold on. Skype just decided to stalk, uh, stalk me for a second. Let me quickly nuke this from orbit. Yeah, I thought as much. So, let's, uh, let's be wordy about this. Alright, fleet power is almost uh, stabilized. Pergian power plant 3. Okay. So, Phase Plasma 2. Now, the Phase Plasma is pretty amazing. It ignore, ignores 75% of armor and does less shield damage, considering we are in a universe that is very heavily focused on shields. Uh, I don't really want to do that. But it is fairly cheap, actually. Shield Emitters 2 is pretty cheap as well, as is the Inverse Tachyon Center Array. What is this? A we are too weak to survive. Hegemonic imperialists. Where are you guys? All the way up north. Yeah, sure, you can you can join. Uh, that should boost my per, uh, my influence rating again, because for every protector we have, we get uh, a little bit more. Let's get to the Serene Denublians. Let's integrate them. It's kind of funny. It doesn't really matter how big, or it does not appear to matter how big a partner is. Integration will take just as long if they've got one world or 20 worlds, which I find fascinating. It's a bit of a shame. Like, it can be balanced a little bit better. Uh, but uh, such is life in the galaxy, I'm afraid. Oh, my God, we got Neutronium. That is so hot. Mm. Station complete. We cannot build on these because of the Ferengi. We can build on this, though, because there is science in these parts. We also have a lot of additional stuff that we are currently not tapping, which we should. As well as science and research, including a whole bunch of strategic resources. Is there a... Yeah, there is a nebulae here. Uh, there's a bunch of planets we could also colonize for the greater glory of our species. A crystalline... What the hell is this? Geocrystalline. A class E world as a class E world cools, the crust and core solidify and the planet becomes class F. These worlds witness much geological activity. Steam expelled from volcanic eruptions, condenses blah blah blah. In those tumultuous mud baths and seas, Abogenesis kicks life in the uh, kickstars first life. Bacterial blah blah blah. Eventually transition to G, but this is clearly a type F. Try Cobalt, the whole advanced heavy can escort prototype. Mm. So hot. Um, 
I am kind of keen on it. It's only 31 months, so we can totally do that. Weather control system. Uh, that is, I believe, a uh, habitability thing. Hostile environmental adaptation is really nice as well. But let's go for planetary fortification tough toughness. Mainly because it, it's gone once again. It is cheap. And uh, we like that sort of thing. In that sense, we've pretty much um, taken over a lot of the Ferengi's style. Station. Let's continue researching, shall we? Uh, you, sir, should not be here. Neither should you. What did we lose? A governor has died. That is very unfortunate. Which sector? It's one of our main sectors. We cannot afford that. Uh, let's put the uh, architectural interests in there. Just to make everything a little bit cheaper. Wow, Wang Tong! Minus 20 energy! That's insane. Really? Holy shit, minus 20, but plus 49 uh, minerals, though. So uh, I guess that offsets it a little bit. But still, though, overall, it's not looking too... Um, well, it's, it's looking fairly leveled, I guess. Really, another scientist has died. Ugh, okay, so he was doing the advanced pro... Oh, we got two scientists available? Since when? Affirmative. Well, that changes everything. I was not aware of having scientists available at the moment, so apparently the science problems are all offset. Uh, it is a resilient scientist, so she'll live forever, and a level 5 as well, so at least that is nice. Very good, very good indeed. We've managed to crush the Romulan Star Empire several times now, so they're not going to cause any problems anytime soon. What's this? Epsilon Carene Expanse. And this is a release subject. How can we aid the reign of Sitar? Is our leader known Sitar? Sitar, Vulcan. Army rank plus one. Leader lifespan plus 25. Yeah, cool. Military station cost minus 15. Is the agenda. Cool. All right. My budget seems to be okay. Happiness seems to be fine. We got a lot of species. Like this is the like the the little graph here. It's like I always want to highlight which one, what species this is. Uh, let's take a look at the humans. Humans are actually a fair chunk, but not nearly the biggest one. I think that's Rigelian, or even Vulcans. Yeah. Credo Tholians are also four percent. What's his, what's his, Bajoran, 0%, that's kind of, Benzide are 8, oh, it said it's Vulcan, 14%, surprising, and humans are 9%, okay, so, interesting, we could find ourselves another place for an observation outpost, Captain. Alright, cool, so our naval capacity is stable again, due to the heavy expansion that we did on our space docks. Let's just do a couple of tests here. We can undock without any problems. That is nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, can I... Let's la can we land these armies and then upgrade them, maybe? How much food we got? 16. Wow. Uh, so we can actually replace a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, what do we got? Power hub. And this is, what, a paradise dome? Yeah. So we can... I was not going to do that. We can cancel this and replace this with something a little bit more useful. Central Plaza. Interesting. Adjacency effects. Plus energy, food, and mineral. That's actually kind of nice. Let's do that. Let's upgrade you. And Earth should be ready for another <laughs> generation. Okay, cool. Um, we need to rename this. I completely forgot the name again. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'll, I'll get back to that later. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, tactical cruiser. Research. Plant fortification toughness. 
But it's cheap. And they're all expensive. Let's go for the biomolecular stuff. Long range scan of planet complete. Research complete. Inverse tachyon sensor. Modulated phaser to improve the inertial damper three. What is cheap? Uh, inertial damper three is cheap. Yeah, the the Cardassians are Cardassia. not doing too well. They don't like us at all, actually. If we declare well, if we declare war on Cardassia, who are we going to war with? Uh, the Sheliak and Cardassia. The Sheliak are negligible, so let's send a capital fleet over towards Alapa and the second fleets. Actually, no. We're going to send the second fleet over towards uh, Alapa and the first fleet over towards uh, in the general direction of Cardassia. Why? Um, well, there's a bunch of worlds in here that I want. I want to conquer this world and release these ones. I think that will be a good next step and basically take control of the Cardassian Union before... Uh, the entire area down there eats themselves, which would be a bit of a shame. Our economy can handle it for now, so at least that's positive. So we'll take it from there. But until next time, um, Beta Rigel has a outpost on it when it shouldn't. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.